welcome back to another reaction. This reaction is the spider within a Spider-Verse story. This is Sony's short film that they did release. I think they released it one day ago, so yesterday. Um, and also they are doing a um, fundraiser for Kevin for the Kevin Love Fund. If you guys do not know what Kevin Love Fund is, it's Kevin Love, who seems like he's a basketball player. I, I, I've never heard of him before, but shout out to him. He established the Kevin Love Fund to inspire people to live their healthiest lives while providing tools for both mental and physical health through a unique combination of education, research, grant making, and advocacy. KL F is breaking the stigma around mental health and ensuring people who are suffering have the support needed to thrive. So the problem is globally, depression is one of the leading causes of illness and disability among adolescents. 50% of all mental health conditions start by 14 years of age, but most cases are undetected and unrelated. The average delay between the onset of mental health symptoms and treatment is is 11 years so he has made an amazing fund to help bring awareness and to inspire about mental health right so I think I've said it before I'm pretty sure I've said it before um, and if I did not this is my first time saying it I actually suffer from depression on and off as well I went to the doctors they did tell me I had mild depression this was a while ago and I think it all started What's crazy is that it's said around 14, and whatever grade, ninth grade was, is when I actually got it. My father and uh, died in ninth grade. And I'm telling you, from there, I got depression, anxiety, and panic attacks, and they both are very different. Um, I still get uh, depression on and off, and it will last for months. It is dreadful. It is one of the worst things. I do not take any medicine for it. I learned ways and techniques for myself to get better but if you do suffer from any type of mental health issues please seek help i promise you things do get better um so i know for me it was very hard for me to have a therapist and talk my mom tried it um but if therapy is your way of getting better please please do therapy i, I hear it's amazing i think my my other siblings do therapy so i know my sister does uh but i think my other siblings as well they do all therapy so please please speak speak to somebody and i and and try to uh, overcome it i know you all can overcome it mental health is a real thing and it's not talked about as often i don't know why but it is very very hard and people who suffer from mental health feel like they're suffering alone and they are not a lot of people suffer from it so once again please speak talk to somebody and um i promise you things will get better now i'm ready to jump into this short film to see what they did here about this this has already hit two million views y'all i also know they're going to be doing the new spider-man I don't know what it's called. Is it Spider? What? I don't know what the new Spider-Man movie is. I don't think it's called this. Um, but there is going to be a new Spider-Man movie. And I think, did I see it say it's coming out to 2025? I think that's when I saw it. They said I would I could be wrong. Um, but I'm very excited to see that movie as well. The first two movies were top tier. Um, so I'm just, once again, I'm extremely excited. Clearly, this is very short. It's seven minutes long and 14 seconds, but I'm going to have to edit it down, y'all. You know, fair use is fair use, so we're going to abide by that. But I will have the full version available for my Patreon members, so please click the link that you see down below for Patreon and become a Patreon family member today. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the spider within a Spider-Verse story and find out exactly what this story has got to give. Oh lord, we're getting a whole intro. Miles Morales. Rates are unacceptable, Miles. Focus, Miles. Focus. Miles, we need to apply this. So much she goes through. Yo, I'm home. Sorry I'm late. You're really not gonna turn around and check right <laughs> Ice cream in the freezer. Oh, and Miles, check this out. I rented three scary movies we can watch. I'm just tired. I'll catch you next time. Are you okay, son? Yeah, I'm good. Damn, all that popcorn? Yo, Miles, come on, 
Dad, don't be slamming my door, man. Yeah, sorry, Dad. <laughs> That's anxiety. Hey. hey, Dad. You got a minute? I just got so much on my mind, you know? I hear that. Yeah. So tell me what's going on. Where we are tonight, I'll be by well, well, that was actually very scary. Um, <laughs> I was actually getting anxiety watching that, and I was like, damn, this is, like, super short, but, like, if it continues a little bit longer, uh, I'm probably gonna have an anxiety attack while watching this. And it might be because I'm drinking a lot of coffee. Uh, but regardless, I did enjoy it. It did have, like, this message underneath, which I feel like it could be interpreted so many different ways, depending on who is viewing it and what you take from it. Um, and what's also really interesting is that this is like, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, but especially animation, I, we, I don't think we've, now correct me if I'm wrong, I, I'm sure sometime, somewhere, that they did create an animation that did deal with, and they did shed light on maybe help, mental health issues, um, but this is my first one that I know of, unless, maybe I forgot, maybe I forgot, um, so, there was, I'm trying to see what people felt about this or what they took. God, please don't ever let Disney get their clothes on the Spider-Verse. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm trying to think, for me, I'm trying to think when I look at it, I look at it as like a fear. I felt like he, fear, stress, building up and causing him to just like have an anxiety attack and him kind of feeling alone because he can't really open up to his father about him being like this superhero and he has all this, he has school to juggle, he has all this stuff to juggle and live with, right? But at the ending, it's as I stated in my intro, like go to speak to somebody because when you start talking and you start releasing all of this that's right on your chest, you do feel better. And I like how they kind of shed light on that. Now I'm taking this because from my view, on how I have in my life, right? So a lot of fears or or if things just become so much that the burden feels so heavy, I will break down. I do break down and I get generally anxiety attacks more than depression. Depression with me deals with more of like something that happens prior. I don't really just generally get depression, but something that happened prior and then I've noticed something and it clicks in my head about something that happened before and then I'm done. But this was giving me more anxiety, which also is part of mental health. Um, but as you see that he went and talked to his father, by the way, I love the man who plays his father and I love that in all of the superheroes that we know of, a lot of their parents are dead. Did you guys notice that? A lot of superheroes' parents are dead, but Miles Morales, has the foundation and i love that for him love that for him um so once again i it did enjoy this short film and i'm very proud that sony and listen you're not gonna get me to say that often about sony no shade but i'm very proud that they did step up especially for mental health and they are raising money for this fund for the um Kevin Love Fund. You guys, if you would like to donate, it is on Sony Pictures Entertainment, their actual YouTube channel. There's a donate button right here. So please donate if you can to this fund because bringing light and helping others that suffer daily with mental health 
would be just a miraculous thing. We need more of that. We need more people to focus on mental health and maybe we can save lives. Thank you guys so much once again for being here. I will see you all next time with more reactions. Okay.